Hi everyone, it's Jack Humphrey here with the brand spanking new Utility Poster 3.0 which runs in Adobe Air which means that no longer do you have to ask will it run on anything, anything. It will run on anything. That's the beauty of Adobe Air and I'm going to show you uh, some really cool new features of this new software. So what I have open here is one of my blogs. It's a local blog. And uh, we have a prospect team in our town called the Richmond River Rats. And people like to keep up on that kind of news, keep up on what's going on. And so I'm going to do a little post with Utility Poster and show you how really, really easy, fast, and cool it is to create posts with Utility Poster. OK, so I've done a little search over here on the right. I've done Prospect League, and I've done it in quotes. I'm doing Google blog search right now for content. And uh, baseball. And I hit go, and I have my settings. You can do your settings right here uh, in options. You can, you can say, you know, I want uh, 50 results from Google blogs. I want 25 results or 100 results from Twitter. I want YouTube results. I can sort by relevance, I can sort by duration, all that kind of stuff. Flickr results, I want Creative Commons, of course, uh, to not get in trouble for using something I'm not supposed to. And you can do your results, all that kind of stuff. All these settings are here in the Options tab. So I have mine set up, uh, and you can see the tabs along the bottom here. It just goes on and on and on. Uh, this little prospect league gets a lot of news. So I'm on to something here. Um, this is very good. So first page is the most recent results from different sites around the web. A lot of them are blogs. So by linking to them, what I'm getting ready to do is send them a ping that I link to them. And this is an incredible linking strategy because you can get what's called a track back from doing this. So um, I want this summer ball thing. I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and drag it over here. Up ah, first, hold on. Got to be an HTML view in WordPress. Hit a couple returns there. Drag it over, and it's going to look exactly like that. Check out the visual. That's the content. Is that not cool? I already put Richmond River Rats start the season in their first home game on June 4th. Here's what's going on around the league. Bam. Okay, so that's the first article I like. Uh, I'm going to go back to HTML view. I'm going to add some more. Is drag and drop. That's all you have to do. And this is all good quality content. And by linking to these different places, some of which will be, uh, most of which will be blogs, you're going to be sending them a ping and getting a possible track back. Your track back will be the title of your post, Prospect League Updates. So that's going to actually be the physical link coming back to this post when I get track backs from these sites. That's very cool. So if you're optimizing your titles, which you should be for the search engines, it's a great way to get very high quality links back to your site, along with being able to do a post in no time flat. That is really good quality, really good quality. People will love this stuff. If you're looking for things that your readers are interested in and you're using Utility Poster to filter out the news, the best among all the rest, then you're going to be doing a great job as a blogger. People are going to get stuck to your site, and you're also not tied to writing original posts all the time. This is why we call it Utility Poster. Okay, this is important news. Prospect League hires new commissioners, summer, league, summer leagues, summer college leagues. All right, we're going to dump that in there. The great news piece. Going to hit a couple returns here. Summer Ball, Prospect League announces expansion for 20 t 2010 season. That's really important. Let's drag that over here. Bam. Okay, cool. So we got three news stories. Let's just go back to visual and see how they look and be proud. Uh, that is very, very, very cool. Okay, the link is right there. Uh, the publish date. You know, it's, it's just really professional. This is the kind of stuff that you see on major news sites all the time. If you think those guys write original content all the time, you're nuts. They do a lot of aggregation as well. Okay, so, well, that's all fine and good, but what else do we have? Can we talk about maybe what's going on at Twitter? Well, go up here to, on the right-hand side and choose Twitter. The same exact search will stay there. You just hit go. Okay, so there's a, a recent tweet uh, about Prospect League. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down here and type in tweets about Prospect League. Okay, cool. I'm going to hit a return there. 
I'm going to drag this tweet down there. Whoops. Got to always remember to be in your HTML editor to do that because it's actually taking the HTML so you don't have to mess with it. So it's all formatted for you. So I got my tweet in there. Let's check out, see what that looks like. It's got his little uh, icon there. Looks really, really cool. Okay, I've got my tweet. So let's see what we've got at YouTube. Prospect League Baseball, go. You're certainly going to find lots and lots of videos. Uh, just people's cell phone videos, people's you know uh, local news stations, things like that. And check it out. Richmond River Lat Rats Prospect League opening night. Heck yeah, I want to put that. So now I just need to change this over here to YouTube Prospect League video. All right, so YouTube Prospect League videos. Now I can do the same thing. The really cool thing about this is that it's going to bring in really neat stuff like the description, the title. All of this is keyword density for your post. And uh, Richmond River Rats is, is my team, and I want that to be first. So I'm going to just grab this, drag it over, pop it in. Oops, I made a mistake. Notice that I put it in when the visual tab was on. You'll notice this if you have the latest version of WordPress or any of the later versions of WordPress. Uh, you have to be in HTML. And then just paste it in. Uh, that wasn't exactly drag and drop, but it was my fault because I didn't put it in HTML view. So there you go. Let's go back and check out what the video looks like. Can you see that this post is getting ready to be really, really cool? I'm going to center that video. I mean, if you want to know anything about the Prospect League and the latest news about the Prospect League, man, you came to the right place. And you, you, you can do this with any content, any niche, anything that people are talking about out there. Utility Poster will find it, will let you preview everything. Let's say you want to preview one of these videos. You just double click on it, and it'll take you to YouTube, and you can check it out. So you can check out the video. This is a nice, high-quality HD video really really cool you can uh, just drag and drop that after you realize this is okay this is not a bad video I think that's just something I want to use I want to put that video in you just hit a return here so you've got good, good keyword content that you drag and drop from YouTube as well it's not just the videos by themselves so let's go to our HTML view again and let's get ready to drag over I'm just gonna hit a couple hard returns every time you do this and let's put in Prospect League Movie. Just drag and drop. General information regarding the league and its players. Grab that. Just click on the right side of a video anytime and click on center and you'll have it centered. Okay. So, drag and drop content has taken a whole new step forward. Utility poster is really, really cool. Very, very hot. People are grabbing this up like crazy. And they're blogging quickly, efficiently and they're enjoying blogging a heck of a lot more now than they used to. At this point, you were just gonna put in some tags. All right, check this out. And tell me if you haven't been on sites like this before where you get to see lots of news from different places around the web uh, on the same topic. This was all drag and drop, and had I not had to explain, you know, utility post or what it was doing, all that kind of stuff, I'd be done with this post in like five, 10 minutes. No problem whatsoever. So it fits right into any blog. It actually works in any kind of text editor. So if you're doing remote blogging, you can pop up Utility Poster and post. This is our premier software. Everybody's feedback has been nothing but positive. They love it and they couldn't wait until this came out. Now you have a chance to grab it. So if you want to blog better, get better search engine results, get more backlinks to your site, Utility Poster is the way to go. It's quick, it's simple and it takes the pain out of blogging.